Ansem. What a journey you and I have had. Hey guys, HMK here. Kingdom Hearts 3 is full of emotional moments and conclusive segments that the series have been building up to for years. However, one moment got me by the neck and really spoke to me, literally. And that is Ansem's final scene where he is defeated by Sora, Riku, and Mickey. His final message at first seems to be out of character, but given his history with the heroes and his own goals, it makes a ton of sense. But it even goes further beyond that. Take a look. Ansem. What a journey you and I have had. You know, it's strange. I think I'm gonna miss you. Your strength is vaster than darkness. I knew I never stood a chance. Part of me wanted to defy my fate. But when the others betrayed us, I found I did not care. And then, nothing else seemed to matter anymore. Ansem. What? It is time to move on, boy. There is more to seek. So go forth now and seek it. What a journey you and I have had. These words and the words to come afterwards resonate me deeply, not only as a viewer, but as someone who's been playing Kingdom Hearts games from the beginning. While of course Ansem is referring to the history he's had with Riku, with Riku responding that he thinks he's going to miss him. This is definitely in line as the main reason why Riku wanted to conquer the darkness and get stronger in his original ideals was because of Ansem. This, I feel, is a direct statement towards the players of Kingdom Hearts 3 and those who have been playing Kingdom Hearts since the beginning, as Ansem was the original villain from Kingdom Hearts 1. This entire exchange is on part of the game and the developers, I feel, with them speaking through Ansem and we the players being represented by Sora and Riku, of course, the two most important playable characters of the series. Indeed, the words of what a journey you and I have had means more than just what Riku and Ansem have gone through. It's a statement to us about the journey we've all had with Kingdom Hearts, all the way to the end of the Xehanort Saga, being told to us from the creators through the catalyst that is the first villain that we've encountered, Ansem. But you think that's it? No, it goes deeper than that. Later in the exchange, when Sora seems to sympathize with Ansem, he immediately remarks that it is time to move on, and even encourages Sora that there is more to seek, so go forth now and seek it. While this, of course, once again goes in line with Ansem's character as a seeker of knowledge, and given his history with Sora from the first game when Sora defied him that he was going to go out and learn what's out there, this, I feel, again, is the Kingdom Hearts team talking to us through Ansem with Sora as our proxy. That with the close of the Xehanort Saga, there is more to seek, and there is more to look forward to, and that as time to move on from what Kingdom Hearts was with the Xehanort Saga, for us to go forth and seek what is beyond in the next saga, seek what is next for Kingdom Hearts, and to look forward to that. There is more to seek, so go forth now and seek it. Honestly, I thought this was actually an incredibly beautiful send off to the series first iconic villain. Not only in itself, but in relation to Sora and Riku and what I feel it means to us as players from the minds of Square Enix. This scene really did speak to me, but what do you think about Ansem's final message to Sora, Riku, and possibly to us as players? Leave all your comments and thoughts in the comment section below, and while you're at it, please like, share, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Kingdom Hearts 3 videos. Until the next one, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet? Don't piss Xemnas off.